This is my pre-fight prediction video about Gennady Golovkin versus Martin Murray. Long time viewers of my channel will know that I'm not entirely convinced by Gennady Golovkin. In doing what he's doing so far, he's proved to us that he probably is the number one middleweight. He's proved to us that he is a devastating puncher. And he has proved that he is far more solid than the average world champion. The one thing I just do not buy into is the godlike status he seems to have amongst his fans. And I'm not yet convinced of him as a pound for pound top 10 fighter. For me, the level of opposition just hasn't been there. Now we could have a debate as to whether that's because he's been avoided, etc. But to an extent, that's somewhat irrelevant. The guy hasn't fought anyone I'd consider a top 5 fighter in his division. And I think that would generally be common consensus. Until you do that, it's very, very hard to be considered pound for pound in my eyes. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I wanted to talk Martin Murray versus Gennady Golovkin. I think there is a fighter out there who can beat Gennady Golovkin. I'm not talking about one specific individual. But I think there are fighters out there who can cause him problems. The question is... Will Martin Murray be one of them? I'll give a few reasons as to why he theoretically could be before giving my point of view. Gennady Golovkin, in my opinion, is a smaller middleweight. People talk about him stepping up to super middleweight to fight Andre Ward. I think what would be more realistic is him dropping down to light middleweight to look for fights down there with the likes of Canelo or maybe at a catchweight with Miguel Cotto. For me, the guy, as I say, whilst he's obviously got oversized punching power, has a small frame and a small physique for middleweight. Now, this was highlighted by the Marco Antonio Rubio fight. Rubio clearly is a big middleweight, but if you look at the check weights, if you look at the size of the two men, it seemed to me that Rubio was quite clearly a bigger man than Gennady Golovkin. And that Golovkin is small as far as elite level middleweights go. Now, I understand for the check weights in this fight, Gennady Golovkin actually weighed in at more than Martin Murray. But let's be clear, Martin Murray, in my eyes, is the bigger of the two guys. He's got a bigger frame, he's a taller man, and on the night I expect him to be the heavier of the two. Now, there is an argument to say that one way of beating Gennady Golovkin could simply be to try and big man him. If you look at how Tyson Fury got rid of Steve Cunningham, for example, you know, Fury was arguably getting outboxed in that fight, but essentially used his raw strength, size and physique to dominate Steve Cunningham. Now, obviously in this fight, the gap in size between the two fighters is much more minimal than... Fury Cunningham. But what I'm saying is those kind of tactics could possibly be used against Gennady Golovkin. There's also an argument that Gennady Golovkin is predominantly a power puncher. Now I think he's more well-rounded than that myself, but that is a, a, a sort of common argument, you know, that he's just got one string to his bow, which is power. Now not only is Martin Murray a big man, but he also seems to be quite durable, you know, He's never been stopped. He's went the distance in all of his fights. He's proven time and time again he can go 12 rounds. So there's an argument to say, let's see how Gennady Golovkin copes when he's got a bigger man still coming in rounds 10, rounds 11, rounds 12, when his power hasn't proven to be enough. You know, when there's other sort of questions and when stamina's being stapped. And again, I understand that. I do think there's actually a reasonably high likelihood that Martin Murray will go the difference in this fight. I think not only is he big and strong and durable, but I think in addition to that, he's also quite sound defensively. And I think he's got a reasonable chin. So, I think those are two reasonable arguments. You know, that Martin Murray could be a bit of a threat. He's a bigger man, he's defensively sound, he's durable, and it'll keep coming in the later rounds. However, 
whilst I don't disagree with any of those, to me, I just do not see Martin Murray winning this fight. Why, put simply, is because of his offence, which I view as limited at elite level. You know, Martin Murray may well do enough to survive. He may well do enough to not get out, get knocked out, sorry. He may well have the defensive capability not to get caught like Daniel Gill or Marco Antonio of Rubio got caught. But is he really going to come with the volume and the skill set to win 7 of the 12 rounds against Gennady Golovkin? To take the champion's belt away from him in Monte Carlo? Do you see that happening? I personally don't. For me, Martin Murray is a very solid fighter. He's got natural attributes. But I view his skill set as limited. I view his power as limited. You know, what type of fighter could beat Gennady Golovkin? Well, let's look at some of the obvious types. You know, foreseeably a massive puncher. A Lemieux, David Lemieux. You know, could he knock Golovkin out? We don't know. It's possible. Martin Murray doesn't bring that to the game. Not only is he, you know, he's just not a massive puncher. He doesn't really seem to have the power to take out elite level middleweights. You look at a guy with like electric movement, a real slickster, a guy who can move around on the, you know, on the outside, slip shots and score points with a jab and an ambush. Does Martin Murray have that kind of outside game? Not really. Or you could look at a guy who could rough Golovkin up on the mid, mid, uh, you know, on the inside, you know, get get in in close with him, rough him up, start battering his ribs with hooks, start throwing an uppercut on the inside, really sort of punish him and sort of big man him, as I say. But for me, Martin Murray, whilst he is solid technically, whilst he is a good defensive fighter, I view his offense as limited. And I think this has been highlighted in his recent fights. I mean, I saw a fight of his on Sky recently, I think, called an Eddie Hearn show. And it reminded me a bit of Matthew Macklin to an extent. I mean, it was a kind of fight where his work was all clumsy. It was quite messy, you know. He, he was stifling his own work. There wasn't a huge amount of, of clean shots. There wasn't sort of combinations landing cleanly. Um, you know, his shots didn't look hurtful. He didn't seem to have a huge snap in them. I appreciate he had some sort of virus in the fight I'm referring to. But let's be honest, this guy isn't an electric outside fighter. He's not the kind of guy who's going to break you up on the inside. He's not an electric mover who's going to jab and run and ambush. He's not going to knock Golovkin out. You know, I could see him surviving. I could see him doing well, like he did against Martinez and like he did against Sturm. But... Once again, he's fighting away from home. He's fighting a fighter who's the champion. Whose people are organising the event. And Golovkin's a high energy fighter. He's going to force the pace. He's going to have the activity. For me, Martin Murray just isn't going to be able to take rounds of him. I don't see it. I think Golovkin's so high volume. He's so good at throwing combinations and landing really eye-catching shots. I think that's the word actually, eye-catching. I just don't see Martin Murray landing clean, eye-catching work to the same extent as Golovkin. So for me, I think all the questions about is Martin Murray the bigger middleweight? Is he solid defensively? Is he durable? They're all solid questions, but they're not going to be the determining factor in this fight. For me, Murray just doesn't bring the offence to knock Golovkin out. He doesn't bring the offence to win seven rounds off a guy who's going to be fighting furiously who's going to be throwing combinations, who's going to have his foot on the gas from round one. I don't discount a Golovkin knockout, but I think a wide unanimous decision is how this fight goes. Let me know your thoughts. Many thanks for watching.